RWC is really excited to show the public the last nine months of work that was put in by the Hargreaves team. It's shown that the master plan was right, that the idea can work. The master plan came up with a concept for Penn's Landing, which would be to connect Chestnut to Walnut and extend a park down to the river to reconnect Penn's Landing back to Center City. We thought of this as a three-dimensional problem because it really is about I-95, Columbus Boulevard, the connections to the city, the elevation of the city, and the elevation of the river. So we studied it in section, in model, in three-dimensional views, uh, not just plan from day one. For the first time, we are looking at how you actually build this. So really early, we had to get into how you structure a cap over I-95 and Columbus Boulevard in such a way that this could actually be realized. As you slope down and terrace down to the river, you see gardens, an amphitheater, a real kind of a variety of spaces and strong connection to the river. People have been trying for 40 years to solve the problem of reconnecting Penn's Landing back to the center of the city. And over those 40 years, there have been numerous attempts uh, to redevelop, and each of them have failed. We believe that this is the right plan. It will really accomplish everything that we hope. We've really developed a master plan that is based on the idea that you develop good public access to the waterfront. You improve those places where streets come through. You develop a public network of trails and parks, and all of that is intended to be an attraction to the public. The Penn's Landing study includes both looking at this from a transportation perspective, what do the public spaces look like, and then it also takes a look at the development and how private development could look here and really help to make this public space successful. The current plan for Penn's Landing really is based on the idea that the public sector needs to make a substantial commitment to public space. The whole Penn's Landing redevelopment, the goal of that is to take a current unattractive environment and turn it into a space that not only works for the type of events that we already do on the waterfront, but also makes it a place where you can come and play soccer or lay in the grass on a blanket and have a picnic. There's been skepticism of in the past about the redevelopment of Penn's Landing. This time, we really want to convey to people that we believe that this project is very doable, it's financeable, it can be built, and it will be built. Not only should Philadelphians be excited about this opportunity, they should feel a sort of civic responsibility to reclaiming their waterfront, their history, and making their future.